Breaking news alert. Deputies have now ended a standoff situation in southeastern Shelby County. WMC Action News 5's Sasha Jones is live on the scene, and she has our breaking details. Sasha? Joe, that standoff ending just minutes ago, we just had a chance to speak with representatives here with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, and they told us that that man was taken into custody, and right now the scene is safe. But take a look behind me. You can see what type of response this elicited. You can see all of the deputies here, the fire truck, the ambulance, all of them have been here for a little bit more than an hour, we're told, for a standoff. We're told that a man was in the street, uh, that he was suicidal, and also fired several shots. We're told he fired a shot into the air, fired a shot at the ground. But I want to tell you a little bit about this man. We were able to find out uh, that this man is an 80-year-old man with stage 4 cancer. We're told that is part of the reason that he was suicidal, because of the pain that he has been in. But we're told that with the help of family, they were able to speak with him over the phone, calm him down, and now he has been taken into custody. Right now, we're not sure what charges may be pending they say that they're still investigating. We also asked whether or not he fired any shots at officers. We're told right now they don't believe he fired any shots at officers. However, we are told that everything has calmed down. He has been taken into custody. We're still working to get more details. Of course, we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. But for now, in Shelby County, Sasha Jones, WMC Action News 5. Developing now, police want to find out that gunman who shot a mother while she was driving with her two young daughters in the car. This happened overnight near Airways and Ketchum out by the airport. And the victims say they believe it may have been the result of road rage. Only on 5, WMC Action News 5's Rose Eckler spoke to one of the passengers inside that car. Yeah, one of the victims says he was just driving down Airways Boulevard with his girlfriend and their two young children when someone pulled up beside them and started screaming. He says moments later, the windows were shattered and bullets were coming through the car. Bullet holes in the doors, glass hanging from where a window used to be. Somebody, you know what I'm saying, that came through speed, you know what I'm saying, cut us out. Then they waited on us, so we stopped and turned around, went the other way. Then they came back on us. And start shooting. Victim Stanley Brooks says he was just driving down airways with his girlfriend Courtney Day, their three year old daughter Abigail, and five week old daughter Kamora when someone pulled up beside them and started shooting into the driver's side window. That window shattered, and moments later, the passenger side shattered as well. The victim spun the car around and went to this gas station for help. Day was shot in the shoulder, and Brooks says she is currently waiting to undergo surgery. I was like, I know the, the people ain't just shooting up in here, and they see these two kids on the back seat. Luckily, those two babies were not injured in the shooting. You can see an officer here carrying a baby carrier across the parking lot, and another officer here holding the just weeks old child. But Brooks says what bothers him most is what his daughter said to him. She said, my mom got shot. The family came to Memphis from Mississippi on Friday for a new start. They've been living out of their car, and after learning of this, a police officer and this gas station attendant decided to help. They paid for the family to stay in a hotel for a full week. It's the right thing to do, that's all. It's something Brooks says he cannot thank them enough for. I mean, kids, I had nowhere to go. I, I did thank them for what they did for me, though. Rose Eckler. WMC Action News 5. And at this time, police say they have not released any suspect information, but the victim tells us the suspects were a man and a woman. This all happened about 1 o'clock in the morning early today near Airways in Ketchum. If you have any information, you're invited to call Crime Stoppers 901-528-CASH. New here at 6, Memphis police are searching for two suspects after an attempted carjacking in Cooper Young near the intersection of Cooper and Central Avenue. Police say just after midnight, they witnessed a white SUV driving through a parking lot with three men trying to get in the vehicle. The victim was actually driving in reverse. Police arrested a 17-year-old suspect, but the other two got away. They were last seen running on York toward Mita Street. Developing now, a man's behind bars after police say he raped a woman. According to police, on September 4th, Damali McVeigh took the victim to a gathering. The woman says... Uh, police, the woman told police, rather, that she only had known McVeigh for about three weeks. She says both were drinking at the gathering. When she began to doze off, she awakened and realized McVeigh was sexually assaulting her. McVeigh is now charged with rape. 
A supposed church fundraiser ended with these three people in jail. Police say Thomas Mack, Ashley Yarborough, and Lakeisha Green of Houston, Texas, were in the middle of Highway 64 with buckets and flyers trying to raise money for their church. As they stopped vehicles to ask for donations, this caused other vehicles to swerve to avoid crashing. Police warned the trio the previous day not to block traffic. They all face obstructing highway charges and are expected in court on Tuesday. It was a warm day in the Mid-South. We hit 93 in Memphis for a high. Saw a couple of showers around Hardeman County. There was a little bit right around uh, Batesville, and there are really just to the north Batesville, right around uh, Senatobia and Tate County. But the rest of the coverage area dry, and that goes right for the city of Memphis and Shelby County right now. We're in good condition. The temperatures, though, they're still warm. It's 91 in Memphis, 89 in Blythe Dyersburg's at 93 to 90 in Corinth. And as we get into the evening here in the city of Memphis, should be about 89 at 7, 84 at 9, and 82 at 11. We'll keep a slight chance for a shower this evening at 7 o'clock, about a 20% probability, but mainly dry, partly cloudy, a little muggy, too. Tell you about some more heat coming your way. We'll talk about your rain chances this week as well. Well, your first alert forecast just ahead. Chaos over the weekend as the Delta Fair opened at the Agri Center. This after several people were hurt when the operator of a popular ride hit the wrong switch and released safety belts. WMC Action News 5 investigator Chris Luther joins us now live from the Delta Fair with the latest on safety inspections and operator training. Chris? Joe, before you get on that fair ride, do you know how well trained the operator of that ride is? We looked into this inspection history for the Moonraker ride here at the Delta Fair, and we also asked how much training does it take to be a ride operator at the fair? After an accident Saturday afternoon on the Delta Fair's Moonraker ride sent seven people to the hospital, three with serious injuries, some fairgoers are now worried about the people in charge of their ride. They keep checks on the rides, but they maybe not keep checks on the people. You know, you, you've got people's lives at stake, and that's scary. Fair officials say the Moonraker was inspected several times before the opening of the fair and passed every time. In fact, the operator running the ride that day was considered a veteran. The gentleman there that uh, was operating that ride, he, he had been operating that ride for several years. We asked an operator just two rides down from the Moonraker, what training did you go through? Well, I was with the show a couple years ago, so I had the experience with running rides before. Once I got here, I had several hours training. They watched me run a few times. I helped run it a few times. So they're pretty clear on how to run it before they let you just go on your own. Safety belts on the Moonraker can no longer be released early, a change made only after Saturday's incident. Officials told us no other rides have that same early release switch. The fair plans to reopen the Moonraker soon, but only after more inspections. It's a fun ride. People like it. Uh, it's a safe ride. Once the inspections are complete, the Delta Fair must get approval from the state of Tennessee to reopen the ride. Once this ride reopens, we have done everything humanly possible to make sure that this ride is safe. That determination could come as soon as Tuesday. I called Bell City Amusements several times this afternoon. They're the company that's in charge of the fair ride operators here at the Delta Fair. I wanted to ask them exactly what are the training procedures that your fair ride operators go through to operate the rides here at the fair. So far, they have yet to call me back. Live at the Delta Fair, Chris Luther, WMC Action News 5. And today at the Delta Fair, many fans got the chance to meet a famous Disney star. In this video, you'll see how the line was wrapped around for the meet and greet with Sky Jackson. Jackson, known for her roles in Disney Channel's Jesse, Casey Undercover, and Bunked. She was even nominated for a 2016 NAACP Image Award in her role of Jesse. Looking ahead, the Memphis Fire Department, along with law enforcement officers, will host a 9-11 remembrance service this coming Sunday. This will be a special tribute to fallen firefighters, paramedics, and law enforcement officers who lost their lives in the line of duty on September 11, 2001. This event will be held on September 11th, Sunday, at 8.45 in the morning, open to the public. The procession will begin at 2nd Street and Adams Avenue and proceed to the Fire Museum of Memphis. Well, Labor Day may be the unofficial end of summer, but the summer heat's not over yet. I'll tell you about some warm temperatures in your first alert forecast. We'll take a look at your rain chances as well. Plus, benefiting from the Chick-fil-A 5K.
Thousands of dollars means we can reach thousands of kids. So that's what it's all about. The Memphis organization that benefits from the thousands who participated. Plus sports drink shake up. A look at a new healthier creation on a classic thirst quencher where you can find it in Memphis. Facebook and Instagram posts. Tweets sure to get your friends talking. We've all done it. But if you're a Memphis police officer, it could get you into big trouble. They have to put extra effort into how they're perceived. Wednesday at 10, more than a dozen officers have been suspended. Some even fired after violating MPD's social media policy. It's not what they're supposed to be about. We investigate those infractions and the impact they could be having on the community. Wednesday on WMC Action News 5 at 10. Chopper 5 is sponsored by Landers Buick GMC in South Haven. If it doesn't say Landers,